everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing an affordable makeup look um, as requested by Sammy, so shout out to Sammy. Um, basically, I know I have a makeup problem, so I mostly use a lot of stuff that I buy at Sephora, but obviously I know most of us don't wanna be spending 45 to even more money on an eyeshadow palette. So today, we're gonna only be using affordable products, which is really exciting. Um, I think the makeup look I'm gonna go for is more of like a natural wearable look. I think I'm gonna skip foundation because I saw Desi Perkins new video and she skipped foundation um, because she got inspiration from Jay Kissa. So figured I'm gonna also skip the foundation. Um, also disclaimer, I lost a nail today. So if you see how bad this looks, just pretend it's not there, okay? Okay. I'm starting with my eyebrows already on. Unfortunately, I just can't not use my Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I know that is obviously not affordable. Um, and I tried, I tried to get this makeup, well, I did get this Makeup Revolution. Um, it's supposed to be like a knockoff of the brow definer, but it's way too dark for me to use it. Like, uh, it's like black. So, unfortunately, and that one's only $5, so I didn't hate it. I just did not like the color on me, so... I already have my brows on. I did use. I don't know what it is. I did use my NYX um, brow gel, so I always use that. Those are like my two brow products I always use, but unfortunately, I just don't have another brow, so I'm gonna. It's fine. Okay, so I want to go ahead and start with eyes. So I'm going to begin by priming my eyes using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one I believe is only like six dollars, so that's pretty awesome. I did actually just make an order for ColourPop, and I got their new foundation. Um, but I'm gonna make a whole video like testing that, so stay tuned for pos probably the next video if you're interested in the stick foundation. Okay, so now that I have the eye primer on, let's go ahead and start with eyeshadow. We're gonna be using the Element of Surprise palette from ColourPop. This is what the palette looks like. That shade's broken, so I don't want to like completely flatten it, but it's really beautiful. I got this in a boxy charm. It's kind of a, such a bummer that that shade is broken because it's so pretty, and I actually think this palette is gorgeous. Cheddar, please stop sneezing. Are you okay? Bless you. He, he just sneezed like six times. You okay, baby? Okay. Okay, so the names are on the back, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the shade... La um, labyrinth and put that in the crease like I said it's gonna be pretty natural eye makeup today I'm just going to Trader Joe's so let me see what it looks like when I turn this down slightly is that better I don't know so I'm just taking this on a fluffy morphe brush and going to just messily put that throughout the crease So how's everyone's week been? I know we're all coming up on finals. It's a very stressful time of year and I hope you're doing well. Remember, self-care. I took an exam this morning that had like 15 trick questions on it, which was so frustrating. So I hope I didn't do too poorly, but we will soon see. Um, I have two exams next week. Of course, the next week is finals week, so. I'm just, I hope everybody's doing well, okay? So I'm taking the shade Opulent, which is the more chocolatey brown color. I'm gonna put that in the crease as well, just a little bit lower. I'm trying to bring the shape of the eyeshadow, kind of just following my eyebrow. Not too, like, sharp here, but Definitely bringing it out um, on that outer corner. Okay, so for the sh um, uh, shimmer on the eye, I'm going to be going in with this color. This is a L'Oreal, what are these called? L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Amber Rush. It's seriously so pretty. I'll show you. That's the color right there. It's like stunning and you definitely could use a shimmer from the palette um, just for the sake of the video I am going to want to use something else. Also, I haven't really used the shadow in a while So um, I'm just gonna try it on my finger first and see what happens My sad little no nail finger Wow That is stunning So I'm just packing that pretty much all over my eyelid. I got a little higher in the crease than I wanted so 
try and blend that a little bit. I'm gonna actually go in with a brush just to see what happens. This one's a little bit dirty, but it's fine. Just a packing brush. Picks up nicely on the brush too. Yeah, it applies pretty much the same on the brush as with a finger. I'm really excited. I made a order on Huda Beauty's website because she was having a Black Friday sale and I because I really wanted to try the brushes she came out with with um, the new palette. So I think it's called the Fender Blender. I'm really excited to try it. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so we'll fill, finish the eyes um, with mascara and everything a little bit later, but now we'll move on to the face. Um, so for primer, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. these e.l.f. hydration drops. I've been really enjoying these. They were $10 at Ulta. Um, with the colder weather, I think they're really nice to hydrate the skin. Um, they're not like, you know, the best thing ever. They're no Farsali drops, but I like them. I want to be like one of those people that blends in primer with a brush. Can I be, can I be that hoe? A primer brush hoe? Maybe next year. And like I said before, I'm going to skip foundation today, but I am going to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes and then I have a couple of blemishes on my forehead and maybe like a little bit right here that I'm going to put concealer on as well. Hello? <laughs> Can you hear cheddar? I did not squeeze this out enough. Oh, don't you hate that? When like water gets in your concealer. So I would love for you to comment down below um, what your favorite affordable makeup is. I know there's so much good stuff at the drugstore nowadays. Like the thing is I spend so much money at Sephora that I don't want to spend money at the drugstore. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I will say the drugstore has gotten a very expensive. It's like $8 for a lipstick and I'm like this is Maybelline. Like you know. Okay, like, I know I pay $20 for lipsticks at Sephora, but, like, that's Sephora. That's what I'm expecting. At the drugstore, 10 bucks? No, no. Especially when there's things like ColourPop now, like, you do not have to spend a lot of money on anything. So the one thing I do wish I had from the drugstore is, like, a vanilla powder. What do I have in here? I do have this highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty. I'm fairly certain this is an affordable brand. I got it in a boxy charm. And there is a yellow powder, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. That's like the one thing that I cannot live without. That's like a makeup step that I absolutely love. Um, I really started using it when I got my KKW brightening powder, which obviously is not affordable. But for real, I use that every single day, even on my no makeup makeup days. Sorry, I'm so itchy because I just find that the yellow brightens so much that you almost don't even need concealer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that yellow shade, see how this works, and just put that under the eyes. Yeah, right off the bat, I I don't love this concealer, the ColourPop concealer, under my eyes. I like it as an eye primer. Um, I just feel like under the eyes, it's like... You see, I, you probably can't see, but right here it's kind of bunching up. It could be the powder, obviously, but like, I always feel like the ColourPop hasn't looked awesome under the eyes. I do enjoy it on the face. No issues there. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just like a little bit too cakey, I guess. So I like to put the yellow powder anywhere that I have redness because it, it just really um, kind of counteracts that as best, as best it can. Okay, so I'm not really going to contour today. I am just going to do bronze. And for that, I'm going to be using this Alexa Ren, Alexis Ren and ColourPop little duo here. Um, this is the shade Topaz. I believe this is, it like used to be limited edition, but I, I believe it's still on the website. Um, hopefully you can still purchase it. So I'm just going to use this to bronze the face. So kind of just like, not too much or anything, just like a sheer wash of color bring the bring a little life back I want to turn the lights down a tiny bit because I think you can't really see I don't know I'm still playing around with the lighting please let me know like if you prefer it more bright or like this I don't know I just don't know if you can see the actual makeup when I'm when it's like too too bright so I definitely like this bronzer like I don't know why I never reach for this I think it's just one of those things that 
I've had in my collection for so long. I'm also like con kind of contouring with it. Um, that you just forget about, you know, and you like, I don't know, like I had to, I, okay. I went through a bronzer phase where I was like trying to find the perfect bronzer, which I do have a favorite bronzer and it's by Pure Cosmetics. Um, and that one's only $15, so it's really not like the worst, but it's, you know, not cheap. And also I find with the Pure Cosmetics one, it doesn't have a long shelf life. And by that I mean, I would use it for like a few months and then the pigment would like disappear, um, which is so weird. I've never had a product do that, um, but I would literally, I literally have to like spray my bronzer with Fix Plus to like get it to show up and you know, we, why, we don't want to do that. But I'm actually really enjoying this bronzer. So when I went through my bronzer phase, I feel like I bought a bunch of bronzers because I'm like normally tanner anyway. So I feel like ugh, this is the struggle of life a lot of bronzers are not made for tan people like i feel like it's hard to find bronzers for people who are already bronzed which like okay right now it's winter time so this is like the palest i'm going to be and that's still pretty much tanner than a lot of other people so i don't know man like i i mean definitely um, in the recent years it has gotten better like with the what's it called physicians formula bronzer I do have that but that one the scent it just doesn't work with my skin It makes me get texture everywhere. I put it so honestly I should just get rid of it, but I really like it um, But I'm not using it today because like I said It really does make me break out with texture because I was using it all summer and I noticed like Wow, why do I have so much texture on my cheeks and it's definitely the scent from that but wow I'm actually really glad I used this bronzer because I'm really liking the color okay so my camera shut off because it was overheating so hopefully it's fine um, but I moved on to blush this is the um, ah, the Milani luminoso blush I'm kind of using this like almost as a highlight as well kind of bringing it up there I love it I love a peach blush honestly peach blush is my favorite color of blush that's pretty much all I wear so for highlight, I was thinking about using the same one from the Alexis Ren palette, but I of course do have this Sleek palette. Um, I think Sleek is a little bit harder to get, but you know what, why not? Let's just use it. This is the Cleopatra's Kiss um, shade or palette. I got this when I studied abroad in London before Sleek even was sold in the US, so that's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go in with the more, I, th I think I'm gonna just mix the two, um, not the creams, but the more powder shades. Wow, they're very loose, like very sparkly, I think. Oh, wow. That's so, that is gorgeous, wow. See, this is what I do, I buy things and then they sit in my collection. Oh, wow. Okay, it's definitely glittery, so if you're not a fan of like glittery highlights, there's definitely glitter, but honestly, I don't think it's emphasizing texture really. So that's pretty impressive. And I like the mix of the two colors, especially with this eye look. I think with uh, more pink eyes, I love to do a, a pink highlight, just because I think that's really pretty. Most of the time, I really stick to like just gold highlights, just because I feel like that complements me the best, but we love a good pink highlight from time to time. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh my God, do you see this glow? Okay, Sleek. Wow. I'm gonna take a little bit of the creamier shade and do the nose highlight with, oh wow, okay. That might be like the slightest bit too dark, but it happened, so. Yeah, that's definitely pretty. Sorry, I keep like blocking the camera. Um, yeah, okay, loving that highlight, wow. Okay, so to finish up the under eyes, just um, to use more products, I'm going to be taking, these are all my like makeup geek, most of these are makeup geek shades. Ooh, what do I wanna put on the under eye? I kinda just want like a nice brown. Let's actually use this shade. Okay, this is actually from Itzy. This is the shade Hash Brown, that's what it looks like on the back. And then that's the front. I bought these, okay, this is like so weird. I used to watch this girl on YouTube named Michelle. I don't remember like what her um, her whole username was, but her name was Michelle. And I loved watching her videos. She was really cool. And she came out with this collab. And then like a little while after there, she just like deleted her account and disappeared. So Michelle, I hope you're doing well. I love your eyeshadows. I used to really love your videos. So 
I hope you're doing well. But okay, so I'm just gonna take hash brown and run that beneath my lower lash line. Ooh, part of me wants like a really bright inner corner highlight. Okay, actually, this is what I'm gonna do. I saw, you know that picture of Kylie Jenner with a really bright yellow inner corner highlight? I saw that on Instagram today and I really wanted to recreate that look somehow. So I have this shade called Squad, which is also from Itzy, and it's like a, it's more of a gold, but it's pretty yellow tone. So I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner and see what happens. I'm such a daredevil. Wow, okay, feeling that. It's definitely different. Like I would never normally wear like a yellow color like this, but I like, I like it a lot with the pink. I feel like this is a very springtime makeup look. Okay, for lips, I really feel like doing a nude. So I'm going to be taking one of my favorite nudes. This is the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Um, I actually think like pretty much any lip color would look good with this look since it is such a neutral eye, but you know I wanna do a nude. Oh, I freaking love this color. This is a really good dupe for um, a Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Girlfriend. The formula is definitely a little bit different. I would say this one's a little less opaque, but the color really is similar. Um, and for gloss, I'm going to be using this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Peanut Butter. Okay, so this is the final makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you joining me today. Leave a comment down below telling me how you found this video and please like and subscribe if you will. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos and you can expect a new video every Thursday and Sunday on my channel. Um, also, if you like hanging out with me, you can check out my podcast. You can find it linked down below. I post a new video every Tuesday. It's called Taddy Talks. Um, also, I wanted to start something new where I kind of shout out another podcast for you to listen to every week. I absolutely love podcasts. I really listen to them instead of music. I like music, obviously. I'm a normal human, but I find music hard. Like, if I don't know what to listen to, then I just listen to the same songs over and over again, and that gets annoying to me. So every week, I'm going to be doing, um, like, a podcast recommendation. I like to listen to podcasts because I learn something. It distracts my mind. I feel like I'm talking to somebody. It's really cool. Um, so this week, I am going to recommend Breaking Beauty. This episode is with the founder of Glam Glow. This was a really, really interesting episode because it talked all about how the product came to be, how they founded the company, everything like that. I love listening to um, podcasts about beauty and things like that. I mean, I listen to a lot of different podcasts, but there is this whole, whole community of beauty podcasts. And if you haven't checked them out yet, you really should because if you're a beauty addict like me, really interesting to listen to and just really cool to learn about the beauty industry and things like that. But okay, I'll stop talking now. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please tell a friend and yeah, have a great day. Bye.